week, friends. Are you ready to sing of God's love, love, love? Yes. All right. Hit it, Luke. One, two, three. Uh, so before we hop right into our messy message, I guess I, there's a couple announcements I just want to lift up for everyone. I think first and more imp most importantly, next Sunday in our backyard of here at Hillside Community Church, we're having our Rally Sunday service. Uh, so it will be there will be backpack blessings for the kiddos. Uh, there's going to be some awards given out. There's going to be an award ceremony in the middle middle of worship. Uh, we're going to have live music, and, and geez, won't it be nice just to, to be together in an actual physical space, even if it is outdoors. Uh, so we're inviting you all to come to that. Uh, that'll start at 1030. Uh, and also, Reverend Wendy isn't here today. She both had uh, her second eye surgery on Friday, uh, and she's also up visiting her sister this weekend. So there's a lot going on, uh, but she will be back with us next week. Uh, and I think that's it. So let's hop into our messy message. Who do we got? I see... Oh, Freddie, you got here too, buddy. Good to see you. Uh, I'm wondering, have you guys ever had Easy Cheese? Do you guys know what Easy Cheese is? Oh, I know Dave Cruz has. Yeah, man, he's from upstate New York. He knows. He knows. Uh, so wait, did, raise your hand if you've eaten Easy Cheese before. Oh, the Senate have? Yeah. So Easy Cheese, if you haven't had it, it is like cheese but so much better so much and here's why cheese have you ever ha opened up your refrigerator and pulled out cheese and it had mold growing on it it had green yuck growing on it yuck that's disgusting but easy cheese you can put on your shelf and it will be good forever and ever and ever and ever a thousand years can go by you come back you can still eat easy cheese another thing that i think is great about easy cheese is unlike regular cheese, you can't put regular cheese into your pockets, can you? Because if you take a slice of cheese and you put it in your back pocket, 
it's going to get all mushed up and hot and melty. Oh, and who wants to eat cheese that's been in your pocket? But easy cheese, check this out. Watch. See, you just put it in your pocket there, and you can go to school, you can go to playground, you can play soccer, and easy cheese will be just as delicious as it was when you put it in. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. Uh, so do you want to see what easy cheese looks like? Watch this. Oh man, this is gonna be great. This is so delicious. And this is uh, American cheese flavor, so you know it's good. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious, guys? Can you imagine, you know, I would get up and I would eat this easy cheese for breakfast, probably lunch too. Maybe a little, e oh, a little easy cheese just fell on my computer. Oh man. Look at that. It just keeps coming out too. That's a lot of easy cheese. That's a good, a good value. A lot coming out of this bottle. Coming, it's coming. Wow. Doesn't that look great, friends? Oh, looks like spaghetti, doesn't it? But no, that is real fake American cheese. It's amazing. Uh, but I don't want to waste this. So I'm going to go over to my friend, Matt, who's all here, so in the room, and he didn't know I was going to do this. And I'm going to have him put it back in the container for me. Give me just one sec. Bailey, can you highlight Matt for me? Matt. So my friend Matt, I need you to put that back in the bottle. Go to town, man. Don't worry, there's a paper towel on Tom, I don't know how to do this. I don't think it's possible. No, no keep trying. I think you can. can. Oh. Can you hold it up to the camera so we can see you trying? Come on, Matt, put it back in the bottle. I don't want to waste it. That's my really favorite easy cheese, my favorite snack. Is that going back in? No. What? Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm sorry, friends. Uh, that didn't go according to plan. I'm going to take it over to yourself. Oh, yeah. But. That didn't go to plan, but that got me thinking. Wow. I think that maybe our words are a lot like that easy cheese, aren't they? They go out really easy, right? You can just pour words out and out and out and out and out and out and out, but it's really hard to pull them back once you've said them. It's really hard to get them back in your body. And so that's why I think it's really important before maybe when we get angry or we're sad and we wanna say something really mean to a friend or a brother or sister or mommy or daddy or our grandparents, I think maybe it's a good thing to take a deep breath and try maybe to say something a little bit more loving than what we want to say. Rather than calling someone a stupid dummy head, maybe we can say, I didn't really appreciate that, that hurt my feelings. Because once you say something mean, once you hurt someone else's feeling, a lot like easy cheese, you can't put it back in your mouth and it's just kind of out there. And at the moment, it's even all over my computer. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can't see that, but it's all over my keyboard and there's no putting it back. So this week, wherever we are, whether we're in school or, or we're at home with our family and our friends, let's do a really good job of saying only the best, most loving things to the people around us. Does that sound like a good idea? Okay, let's say, let's say a little prayer together, shall we? Loving God, you gave us the gift to talk and say all kinds of different words. Uh, and so this morning we ask that you would help us to say only nice words, only kind words, only loving words that will make others feel good because it is so hard in fact, God, it is impossible to put our words back after we have put them out into the world. This in all things we ask in the name of Jesus, who shows us how to love. Amen. Thank you very much, friends. And thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew, for your un unwitting participation in today's youth ministry.